Um, it's now working. So now you get to see the ultimate epic cutscene that I got kicked out of. Now I just all I need a web is a webcam so then I can actually then have my Ouija Rabbitar that you saw up just actually looks like my own kitchen. Okay. Wait. We're good. Yes. <laughs> This is like one of the best lots of cutscenes I have ever seen. background my people a thousand years of suffering now i give to you an eternity in darkness oh. I has food. <laughs> Gives Wifi Nagi. Gives Wifi a chicken nugget. Have a chicken nugget. Here I will. 
This is why I felt kicked out. This is why we can't have ice fix. I got kicked out because of emergency top fix maintenance. Yes. What? The very first at Zero Dragoon. They are ours, Lord Eldrath. The eyes of Nidhogg. Aye. The worm lies broken and my father is avenged. With the wellspring of his vitality thus denied him, Nidhogg shall not linger long in this world. But behold the terrible price we have paid. My sire is dead. So many brother knights slain. We traded our honor for the strength which now courses in our veins. And still we are forced to make such sacrifice. But not in vain, my lord. Trace Felger is the only great worm left in Dravania, and he dares not leave his lair. With Nidhogg's eyes in your possession, who now can challenge the might of Ishgard, ascend the throne, and take your rightful place as the ruler of our people? Nay, my friend. I must forsake the mantle of king. Though Nidhogg be defeated, his wormling horde yet darkens the skies with wings beyond counting. <coughs> As one who partook of Ratatoska's strength, it shall be my penance to bear a knight's arms until death grants me leave to retire. When that day comes, no prince shall perish, but a hell's bound hunter of dragons. That's but Lord Haldreth, <laughs> what then shall become of the royal line? <coughs> Think of your people, my lord. Without a king, who will the common man turn to in his hour of need? How will he find his way without your benevolent hand to guide him? I thank you, Sir Flavian and Sir Silvertril, for dispelling my remaining doubts. With men of such wisdom and compassion in service to the realm, it is plain that Ishgard has no need of a king. But if you must bow to the demands of tradition, you need look no further than yourselves for one worthy to wear the crown. Fare thee well, my brother knights, my loyal friends. On these shoulders shall I bear the weight of my father's sins. With this lance shall I repay the debt accrued through our misdeeds. What oh, you cruel said some jest has fate played upon us? Have we seized this desperate victory only to lose a king? We can but act as our lord has bid. We few who remain must divide between us the rulership of Ishgard and her people. Not I. My oath was to Lord Haldrath and he alone. If he is not to be king, then I would hang up my shield as well. Will you abandon us too, sir? I would wash my hands of blood and betrayal and take up an honest trade. Mayhap I shall serve ale instead of sharpened steel. We 
before then. Fortan, Hylanat, Dirimdare, and Zemile. But four houses to rule all of Ishgard. And what of the throne? We keep it empty. Until the day a king rises once more, we must assume the role of stewards. We shall shape our nation anew with a history of our own making, and let the truth of this dark day die here, upon the battlefield. The what ails you, friend? Are you wounded? You have borne witness to history. To the culmination of the first battle with Nidhogg. The legend of Ishgard's founding tells that our ancestors were led to the land of Kurthus by the valiant King Thordon. In the midst of their journey, they came to a wide chasm, where they were set upon by a great worm, Nidhogg. A furious battle then ensued, with Thordon leading the van. Though the brave king was slain defending his people, his son, Haldrath, the first Azure Dragoon, fought on undaunted. And with a mighty thrust of his lance, he gouged out Nidhogg's eye, forcing the wicked creature into retreat. Thus did this eldritch orb become a sacred treasure of Ishgard. Lending its power to every knight deemed worthy to bear the title of Azure Dragoon. A rousing tale, is it not? Would that I could still believe it. But your vision, which we must accept as immutable truth, leaves no room for doubt. Save on one point. If Haldrath took both of Nidhogg's eyes, then how came this eye to be lodged in the worm's skull? Beneath every answer we unearth, another question lies buried. I feel like a cunt. It was a fierce battle, but one I knew we would win. Your fame is well deserved, warrior of light. Full proud am I to have fought at your side. I would fain return with all swiftness to Ishgard to inform the Lord Commander of our triumph. But we must first have words with Hreisvelger. There are parts of this tale that the Worm has kept from us, and I would know wherefore. Be the cousins over. You can talk freely. <laughs> yes, sir. So adorable. So, what do you think of this game so far from just that cutscene? Me. <laughs> Is the answer me? <laughs> Over there, you can do 
Do a dragon. That doesn't even want me there to begin with. You like my bike? <laughs> yeah, just the answer in yeah. This is actually the bike that Cloud rides in Edmund Children. The SDS from the Skype Delivery Service. There's moment I prized your eye from his head.
It was yours. Your strength that sustained Nidhogg all these years. Acquiesced. You surrendered your eye to Nidhogg, knowing full well the suffering he would inflict. This I'm back to son of a bust. Me? Me. At the roofie. Okay then. 
Twas my life's goal to slay Nidhogg. But I find there is little joy to be had in its accomplishment. But you have rid the world of a hate-filled creature, and ended a bloody war in so doing. I lost my family to Nidhogg's flames, and twas with fury in my heart that I took up the lance. Every blow I struck, I struck in the name of vengeance. We were not so different, he and I. I will not judge you for your deeds. I have not the right. Too many innocents have perished in the name of my greater good. Yet even with all that has passed, the tale is incomplete. We are short a great worm's eye. Of the pair which Haldrith took from Nidhogg, only one is known to us, the one I bear. What then became of the other? Why did Nidhogg, who had taken such pains to prolong the Dragonsong War, suddenly decide to hurl his entire army against the walls of Ishgard? Lord Commander. Aye. The deed is done. Nidhogg is slain. What? In the city? A battle with whom? At and once, Lord Commander. Hold firm till our return. Oh. Fighting has broken out in the city. Lord Emmerich was sparse with the particulars, but it seems some commoners threw open the gates to a force of heretics. I gave no order to attack. Are we to mark the end of the Dragonsong War by spilling the blood of our own? Mayhap Praesvogel was right about us. Let us away, warrior of light. The people must be safe from themselves. Wait! I would join you! There has been enough violence. I will appeal to my people in the city and make them see reason. Come then. Lady Iceheart, let us write the final chapter in this damnable war. Yes, I beat my cat chicken flesh. Is it any more? Yeah. Yeah. You okay, Wookie? Hug. Sorry, I'm not really talking right now. A I small like army of heretics has invaded the city, Your Eminence. But there is no cause for concern. A sizable contingent of our soldiers is already in place to repel the Dravanian assault. And the intruders will soon find themselves outnumbered and outmatched. Our plans proceed apace, then. Yes, Your Eminence. This unrest shall serve to feed the people's fear of the heretics and the dragons both. And lend renewed fervor to their prayers for deliverance. Very good. Grant our guests what time they need to sow a measure of chaos, then order the Temple Knights to crush them. Your will be done. The moment is at hand. Of course, I have my hands behind this. Excellent. All shall soon be in alignment. It is time for the bringer of light to die.
You tried to kill me before, Lara, but it didn't work well for you. Oh, I wish I had that time. This and you know, badly. Comrades, sheathe your swords. There is no need for further bloodshed. My lady, she is come. Hear me, brothers and sisters! The war is ended! Nidhogg is no more! <laughs> Aye, it is so! This adventurer and the Azure Dragoon laid the Great Worm low! <laughs> There's two Azure Dragoons right here. <laughs> Maybe one of them. The endless cycle of violence between man and dragon was born of our forefathers' treachery. You have followed me, bled with me, to bring this truth to light that we might all know peace. But Nidhogg is dead. Nidhogg is dead, my friends. He who bore such hatred towards Ishgard is dead. Let his hatred die with him, I say. Let us sheathe our swords and go in peace. Have we lost? No, my friend, far from it. At long last, the peace for which we have so desperately fought is within our grasp. And I, for one, would not forsake it. Peace? Seize the witch! Let none escape! Providing aid and succor to the wounded should be our first concern. I'm not about it. If the heretics mean to observe the peace, then it would be folly not to do the same. At the woo. Sorry, Wolfie. I wanted to play this a little bit. I just wanted to get through my cutscenes. Mm, this is mostly all I want to do. I did plan to come back. Let's 
didn't want to get the cutscenes. Probably I didn't have them anyway. I wanted to get for cutscenes and just kind of stop. Mm -hmm. Look at that. <laughs> 